and welcome to Boundary Grammar School, a school well known for specialising in science. In this video, we're going to explore the different techniques used to teach key stage three students in our school. It's basically about assessment, so we have to make sure that year 7, 8 and 9 then get up to the end of year 9 so they finish that whole key stage and can progress from primary school all the way so that they're ready for GCSEs. And we sort of implement new schemes of work and put them all in and sort of make sure that the kids have progressed really, do our best to do that. From 2 to 3 it's sort of introducing them to a new bit of science, it's all about you've moved on from this is what an experiment is to we're going to go into a bit of the detail now. So we do a bit of theory behind things rather than just doing the practical and we try and explain it. So it's like a higher level. They've sort of got the, the basic skills to figure out what something is and now we're giving them the knowledge behind it to try and work something out now so they can then apply that knowledge. So that's your start bit. It's all simple stuff at Key Stage 3 but that's your main part. It starts off with um, we sort of do bits of chemistry, physics and biology, so you'll do the basics. So in biology you'll sort of talk about cells and things and start off there. And then on chemistry it's all atoms and elements, so you get the basic building blocks. And physics you're starting off with um, small topics like electricity and you're trying to build up. So it's how things are in the real world and then you build on them. So you need to give them a bit of information at the start first. It does help if it's taught correctly. You get kids coming in from primary school who haven't been taught the things that they should be taught and then we're then changing that information so they find it hard. So we try our best to instill the information now so they're ready for key stage four. Because if they're not, then they're going to struggle with all the exam questions and everything these days is all about GCSEs, GCSEs. So if they don't get that right, they're struggling. I like biology because I like all the practicals that we do. Because I like learning new things and understanding how they work. Um, I like practical because you get to actually do something rather than sitting down and reading and writing and like healthy eating and stuff to do with like you later on in life and how we grow. I wanted to be a forensic scientist so I need like all my qualifications in science to be able to achieve what I'm what my goal is. My job is, is leadership to, to make sure all the policies and strategies for improving exam results are in place, helping new teachers, uh, liaising with leadership team, liaising with outside agencies, many different aspects of, uh, of running a, a department, quite a big department. So. I'm really keen that Key Stage 3 teaching is really interactive, creative, fun, engaging, all these positive words. It also has to be grounded in, in scientific principles and we're teaching students how to be scientists and how scientists work and about the history of science and why science is important to society as well as giving them massive opportunities to do practical work and uh, the, the scheme the update scheme that I've supported it was chosen before I started here but I'm, a, I'm very keen on it because it, it does all these things it's engaging it's fun it's practical it's accurate mostly in its science and, uh, and the students really, really enjoy it and once you get students enjoying a subject they're more likely to, to be successful in it, it's, it's not rocket science. It's, it's taught in themes such as Electromancer which is really all about electricity and uh, a module called Cook that Year 7s do which is cooking pancakes and making ice cream but uh, the, uh, the students are actually learning about about changing state of solids, liquids and gases or learning about heating and the conduction of heat but they're learning it through doing something fun and, and, re and in a real life situation. So. Lessons if they're taught in, in that way and if they're taught in a positive, interactive and, a, and, and theme. Um, they're, if they're taught in a positive way, in an engaging way, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll respond well and they'll want to learn which is uh, the most important thing to me. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope it has helped you realise that Fountain Grammar is an exceptionally good school to study science.